Rafane de son Eurade Asumje and Kamunina Yeta Utun Funya Miasi Ukidian Punyan Kopong and then so I and I DNB. A boy a humbang, a shay a so, a my young qua, a yen humbo, a yen adum, a yen fissi, pie bonnet, or dumina yan cupong, a beman in sasso, a my young hundi to me, and in a new yam. Ribia ye paya, ye dia sida, a ini cabia, a beme urade. A rade mana basso, a rade interredensa. Made him say, I watch ye ya, ye de bosomi, a baby ye. Rade Becassa, Obama, and when you and Yamina Bassa, but the Biara Yipea, young fan has said that in the Becassa or no tofu yanko pona wire. Yabom pie. Father, we thank you once again for the gift of life you have granted us. We thank you for your loving kindness, your tender mercies. We thank you for your immeasurable blessings over our lives. We pray that, Lord. Reveal yourself to us through your word. Grant unto us illumination into your word. We pray. May you be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Brethren, the Lord, our theme for reflection this faithful day is widows, elders, and slaves. Widows, elders, and slaves. First Timothy 5. 1 to 25, 1 Timothy 5, 1 to 25, 1 Timothy 5, 1 to 25. It's my prayer that the Lord will help us to understand and reveal himself to us through his word. In the mighty name of Jesus. 1 Timothy 5 talks about order in the ministry or order in the church. Order in the church. So verse by verse of Paul's First letter to Timothy, we continue to examine the second last chapter. The second last chapter. We are looking at the proper order in the church, which is the subject of the last two chapters of the letter. So in this lesson, we focus on the church's ministry. The church's ministry. So First Timothy 5, 3, then 9 to 10, whom the church honors with support. So as we said in our previous lesson, the church was never intended to take over from the family. The two institutions have their own special purposes and functions. However, some people do not have a family and are even alone. In this case, the church family is the only family they have. And so the church family must assume responsibility for their care. When they are in need and have no other help. Have no other help. So the church is not a charity for one or all, for one and all. However, there are certain needy, like the widows indeed. Widows. First Timothy 5, 3, 9 to 10 talks about the widow. How the church should take care of widows. And the Bible will tell you that the James will tell you that one of the true religion is to taking care of the widow taking care of the widow whom the church should support so paul here is telling timothy that in the church he shouldn't forget the widows now so these widows had a ministry of prayer they prayed those days, there were a lot of widows in our, the churches praying. And even nowadays, there are widows who have dedicated themselves to preach, to lead Bible, to, to, to do all sorts of things in the church. They've availed themselves to do the work of God, which is a powerful ministry indeed. The Rade Shese, Yeni Ebeko Ekunafo Ehu. The aged in the church, special ministry to the aged, having a special ministry for them, putting measures in place to take care of the, the aged in the church. Eurade e shebribisa, yebe yebribisa, 
ede ashe ni din e konkwe ni unyam. Hallelujah. Yes, le wuda de. So be buwa ye yin. Ero adebe kaya hon. Na ye bibi ye yibi ya. Ye be she. E kona fo. Na ye she. E mpen fwe wa sori nou. En slaves. Slaves. En kwa. E wuda de she se. Ministry no will cover all sort of people in the church. So what am I saying? What I'm saying that. The church should present a comprehensive, full, a whole gospel. We must present the whole gospel to the whole person and to the whole world. The whole gospel, holistic presentation of the gospel, holistic ministry. The church should focus on holistic ministry. And yet, one-sided ministry. The youth, but this time, Paul is talking about the widows, elders, and slaves. Empire born and share. Ya be kaya janka. Ya be kai. Ya be kai. Only be. Ya be kaya kuna for. Ya be kaya breath of God. The marginalized in the church. God expect us to remember to take care of them so that they also have a say. They also benefit from whatever goes on in the church. E wada de mwaye. Ya mwaye. Na sore no. Na sore po ankura ankure biara. Ya di ya ni be ko. E kuna for hon. A bwe kuna bwa mpe ya mwe kuna fwa. Ya bwe kuna fwa. Di bebi ya na a reho e shaw mwa ma. O si e kai wom. Ye tu o. Ye nou mwa. Ye encourage wom. Ye mwa mwa se di. They are not alone. They are not alone. The church is with them. They are slaves. House helps and go. We should have a special ministry for them. May God bless us and keep us. E rade mwa ye. Ana wakri yi. Oma ye nye nishra. May the Lord bless all of us. And keep us. His presence be with us all, now and forevermore. I'm Reverend Fosa Kofiampo, Minister of Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Minister in Charge of Revival and Resurrection Congregations. Peace and life to you. Bye-bye.